All right, today we're going to be going over the hotel search between Rocker and FaZe from yesterday's Stage 4 qualifiers. I'm going to do a little breakdown of each round uh, in detail, and yeah, let's get it started. So, to start off, we have FaZe with a standard spread, you know, one guy B, one guy watching mid. He's going to end up going towards uh, the back Ivy here watching Beacon, and then one guy top bed, one guy bottom bed, super standard spread that a lot of teams do. And then on the Minnesota side, we got a like a little 1-2-1 one, one here. Number one is going to be trying to play this credit corner. Uh, see if anyone's rotating, rotating through diner to try and uh, pinch onto any a type of plant for for Minnesota um, And number three and number four they're stationed here in the lobby uh, This trying to see if anyone might be hitting up through beacon or hitting through their uh, Single on and just keeping all of that mid basis covered uh, in case phase is going to try and play aggro round one and then number two here He's just gonna be playing this p4 desk trying to cover his basis for anyone top bed uh, top glass or anyone pushing out of you know bottom bed top bed So he's just trying to keep that map presence for Minnesota on that uh, a side. So from this uh, Everyone's basically just feeling each other out. That's a you know a common theme for especially round one especially on hotel search uh, Just feeling each other out working that info and then just trying to make a, a mid-round call So that's basically all of hotel search is just super big mid-round calls being made and I think that's one of the best search maps uh, just in general in this game because of that uh, it really reminds me of a regular search map compared to the others um, and as you can see here afro moves off of his credit spot and he's going to try and t make a movement towards mid here they're going to try and cover this little ivy spot and, and just get eyes on it because from this they can see that like basically no one from phase is playing mid now because they're the, or playing the cross i should say because from that they can see that no one's playing Beacon as number three has it, and no one's going to be playing Ivy. So they, they have the whole cross um, covered. So from that, they're going to work this 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 uh, eight plant here. So number four is going to go onto bomb. Only thing is, huge thing with round one searches is there's no trophy, so they don't have a trophy onto bomb. So with good tax, you know, a phase can just nade this guy off bomb. You know, they get shots on him, they get a nade onto Bans, and that's a bomb down. So. From this, it's a little awkward situation for Minnesota because now another guy has to hop on that bomb and get it planted because you know there's only you know 20 seconds left, so they're gonna have to you know really get get to work on you know getting back on this bomb, plant it, and then work from there. The thing is though, you, you just have to give up so much once you have to you know retake onto that bomb site by you know planting it again basically because it was denied first off, and from this you know another kill goes down. And FaZe just can win this easy, you know, 3v2, especially because the bomb's still not planted. So they can just converge. It's basically a three-on-one at that point, and uh, they win the round from there. All right, so in round two, we're going to be seeing a little bit of a different defense uh, out of Minnesota. As you can see, number two, he's going to be watching that A bomb cross. Number three has his back watching anyone that might be dubs uh, from couches. And number one is going to be Beacon watching to see if anyone might be pushing Beacon fast has number two's back from there as well. Number four is covering their bases at the B site. And then on the other side, FaZe is going to be doing their, you know, really standard default 2-2. Two -two. They love doing this where they have, you know, Simp and Slasher working one side of the, of the, of the map. And then 7 and 5, Cell and the BZ were working the other side of the map. And then they're just going to leave the bomb and spawn. You know, whatever they do mid-round, one of the teams or one of the, the groups, the pairings, is going to be able to run back, capture that bomb, and uh, take it for their team. Or if they go A, same thing. They're going to be, you know, getting that bomb on the way to the site. So this is a really big round to see how big coordination and, you know, actually communicating with your team mid-round is. Um, and as you can see here, Afro does have Beacon covered, but he is going to back off from this. Um, so he probably thinks that there's some pressure B-side. Number four probably gives him info of that. So he's going to go back towards Kishin to help him out. But what that does is that, that leaves Beacon completely open. And this is something that's, you know, a huge gap in Minnesota setup right now because number two can die for free if someone hits Beacon. And, you know, number one, Afro is watching, uh, trying to watch his mid, like, you know, basically his his main here. And the thing is, there, there's just too many gaps here at this moment. So at the beginning of the round, Afro had Beacon, but, you know, it just got lost in translation. He's going to rotate now towards A. Number three is going to be looking dubs from the mid side, but you know, Beacon is still open and now this is a free, you know, two piece, you know, practically for Simp. You know, he only gets one, but then he gets help from, you know, Slasher over here. They get the guy rotating from B side and it's a clean round from FaZe. 
that's why you know communication is so huge mid round because you know if you give something up you got to call it and you know if you if you did call it out you know the, the team has to recognize that that is open at the moment all right moving into round three what do you know Minnesota doing the exact same thing the one two one Afro's playing a little bit of a different spot here and on phase side they're actually doing the exact same defense uh, that Minnesota did the round before guy watching a cross watching dub B con and B side so a big thing for FaZe here in this round is their ability to constantly reinforce the cross spots. So they're going to have Slasher watching on the top of this Ivy spot, but they're going to try and continuously double this cross to try and team shot it, pepper some shots. You know, one guy watching it is good. Um, if you can get two guys watching it, you can guarantee the kill for anyone that might be crossing the God Stairs or, yeah, pretty much anyone that might be crossing at all. Or, or getting on top of bombs. So this is a really good play out of Minnesota. You know, Bance is gonna be snaking on top of this bar desk here, and he's gonna try and have Fame look over him to try and guarantee this kill on Slasher on the Ivy Heady. That's exactly what they do. They get the kill over, and uh, once again, Cell is going to retake that spot, uh, become the new power position holder. Number six is always glancing at bomb. Number seven goes bottom bed to try and kill the bomb guy. He does. Uh, it's a huge kill, but it ends up getting trade out by Fame. 3v2 now from Minnesota. And, you know, Afro, instead of going dub and killing this guy off of Ivy, he was going to go main, see if anyone's going to push through main. He gets one kill. It's a 1v2. Uh, Cell actually rips this guy through a wall bang, and it becomes a 1v1. But this is a really good play out of Afro uh, to just be patient for a second and then try and cross uh, at any moment. Because if he can cross the bed, it's a pretty much for sure guaranteed round win if you can play it right. Uh, because you're just too many angles for the other person to watch. You know, Cell tries to hop on the defuse, but it, it's just a lost cause at that point. All right, moving into round four. For Minnesota, we got an A defense here. They have one guy bottom bed and two guys top bed. They're basically going to try to throw all of their tacks into this A bomb and uh, P4 side area to try and stunt any quick A pushes by phase. Uh, but on phase side, they have the same 2-2 two -two setup. Uh, where they are just going to make a, a mid-round call based on the info that they get. So as you can see here, a, uh, a huge round in terms of just creating space for your team. So as you can see, they probably realized that there was a bunch of people A-side from Minnesota based on all the tax that they saw A-side. So what do, you, what do you know? BZ is going to take uh, control of that, and he's going to pressure... Uh, from bottom bar into couches. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Simp is kind of playing with the guy B side and showing pressure there. So, you know, Minnesota has to respect that they didn't have anyone mid. They might, you know, feel that there's pressure B side based on Simp. So they just have to respect all of it. And they're now going to play super passive like and respect this, this map pressure that they gave up from doing that A counter. And from this, you know, Slasher and, and BZ are going to try and work this guy back pool. And they back him off, and then the bed guys are going to have to play based off of that. And, you know, they, they probably see Cell God Heady. So they know that, you know, Atlanta has pretty good map position on them because, you know, they just had to play super passive. And from that, uh, Abizi is going to make a, a really nice play here. He's going to cross to the glass steps. Obviously, these guys have to play super safe. You know, Afro is going to be low hole, and they have a guy top bed. And from this, they're, you know, Abizi is just going to be playing contact off of Cell. And, you know, if I had to guess, this probably wasn't even calmed. It was just like, you know, guaranteed, you know, this is what we're going to do to work together. He's playing this super nice glass stairs heady. If anyone busts out of this door, they're going to be team shotting together. And if anyone busts out of the lower door, you know, Cell is going to see that. And Abizi can hop right over onto him and get that trade if he ends up killing Cell or just, you know, get the kill in general if uh if they see him so that's what ends up happening afro busts the door open they see that and he's able to hop on to that for uh the kill onto afro super big pick out of abizi you know this is how phase is able to work these picks they're, they're able to get that pressure and abizi is you know one of the best probably the best at getting first bloods in search and destroy and from this you know they get the bomb planted uh you know actually slashers in a huge position here uh, because he can catch anyone that might be rotating through Beacon or through Pool if he hears them too. So, you know, from this, it's, it's a super hard retake out of Minnesota. You sell, uh, or Slasher actually makes a huge play here. He gets away with his life, or gets away with his life, and he's just able to really make sure that he's a distraction for this team. 
you know, Simp ends up picking the kills off because they're trying to chase Slasher out. So huge play out of Slasher there and a big round win out of phase. We're going to skip over to round six. As you can see, Minnesota with a B-side defense here. One guy TB, two Beacon, and one guy watching the A-bomb cross from Ivy. You know, they're going to put a lot of pressure onto this diner B-side, try and full flank uh, with this pressure. And as you can see here, uh, Atlanta with a little bit of different setup here. One B-side, this is going to be Slasher, just trying to play any sort of info that it can hear from the B-side. And three guys A-side for, for to try and work that A-plant. And as you can see here, they're just going to play off of that info. Slasher probably hears one or maybe two B-side. So he's going to be like, you know, let's just work this bomb ASAP. He's going to watch the pinch from the stair heady and fame is actually going to get a kill on the bomb with that nade so it's a, it's a big nade kill out of minnesota because once again you deny that bomb plant plus you have your three guys working all the way around towards the p2 side right now so this is a a really big round of the minnesota to try and tie this game up fame gets away with his life because they know he killed him from the ivy heady and he knows that they could be pushing through his bed or through his couches so He's going to make a good play back up, you know, try and be part of this team push that ends up eventually happening. And as you can see here, you know, this is a really good play out of BZ taking the space. He realizes that he can probably get through to this couch's area without a contestion because they just didn't have anyone else a side. And from this, you know, he's able to get a kill onto fame. He's probably not expecting the BZ to push couches right away. Bance actually gets a really big kill on this guy main. And from this, it's a 3v2 retake for Minnesota. And, you know, the faster that they move together, the better. Unfortunately, they get the kill, but they get the trade out. So it's, it's an easy round win for Minnesota here. They just work together and they get the defuse. All right, moving on to round seven. An A defense out of phase. Same thing. Three guys bedside area. One guy uh, playing the B side at uh, TV. And as you can see here, once again, 1-2-1 one, one out of Minnesota. Same thing as we said before. But this time, they're going to just work off of this uh, info that they get A. So Fame is huge here. He's going to be trying to get any type of info. And he sees that you know people are stunning from that top bed area. They see multiple stuns. So he sees all of this info. And he tells his team, you know, just get out of here. Wrap towards B. You know, there's multiple A. Let's just take our chances trying to hit bang B out. Um, and as you can see here, from the face side, they realized that no one was going A quickly. So number seven, Abizi rotates this pool heady to try and get back that mid control as we saw in the other round too um, from the, the Minnesota side. And from here, Minnesota is going to wrap B side, but Abizi takes this timing and this is a really good timing to take sometimes because he hits through Beacon and hits through uh, the double arches. And this is a, you know, at this point, Minnesota would try and catch anyone that might be rotating quickly through that B side or through mid side to try and catch anyone that might be going uh, and flanking if they planted A, but they were rotating. And this is just a good timing to take because you know, this is a super late dub hit from a BZ that it, it just completely catches Minnesota off guard because they check for it, but he's just, they're just too late on it and he gets a kill from it. It's a huge first blood. Um, because now they have to worry about him. Slasher can now activate off of that, and he sees one that was Beacon as well. Unfortunately from, for BZ though, he forgets that there was a P4 guy, and this P4 guy can just go towards uh, the lobby and kill him right away. He probably should have positioned himself so that he couldn't um, die from anyone that might be going out of single. So maybe that's a little bit of a, a mistake there, but uh, it's super hindsight. And from this, Minnesota is going to wrap the bomb once again with Afro being the one lurking uh, B-side. So it's big on phase to kind of retake this A map pressure in case of a rewrap. And that's exactly what they do. Cell gets this kill off fame. He probably doesn't think that he's going to be still top bed. He rips him off of the, that P4 heady. And from this, you know, it's a really hard retake out of Minnesota because they had already sent all their guys to rewrap. So Atlanta takes this positioning from them. Fame or Bant's able to get the kill, but you know, Simp is still in a good spot and he gets the trade. And from this, it's a 1v2, super hard for Afro to win without bomb. And FaZe is able to take this round win. All right, so we're going to move to round nine here. This is a really good play out of Minnesota and it completely counters FaZe. As you can see, FaZe, another A side break off. And from this, Minnesota is going to try and basically do a mid pressured uh, B hit, uh, if you can say that. So Cami is going to take a really big timing 
because he has help from these guys' double arches. So what these guys are going to be able to do is check to see if there's anyone couches or anyone watching uh, the cross from Ivy. And he's just going to be able to take this time to go through the couches because they see no one's there. They have teammates throwing stuns uh, through mid and through couches. So they realize that it's probably an A-sided break-off because they don't see anyone mid. And from this, Cami is going to take the timing, go through the couches, and try and push through to their pool heady. As you can see, number two and number three, they're both now gonna work onto this number seven guy uh, at the pool heady once he's rotated off. Really big play out of Fame and Cami to team shot that, they get the kill, and now they can just straight up bang out B side. Huge round if they can get it because it'll obviously put them up 5-4. And Slasher here, he's just you know left on his lonesome. He can't even basically play this back heady to try and kill anyone because he knows that he doesn't really have any help if, if these guys want to he, they could just push out back door and chow them and he'll end up getting traded out regardless and with his only help you know top uh p6 here it, it's really hard for him to make a play so he has to wait for his teammates and from this minnesota is going to be able to get the bomb down easily they're nading and stunning tacking this back door just to make sure that no one's pushing from the phase side and this is just going to be a, a retake attempt out of phase but it's going to be super hard 4v3 retake with all of these credits that you can play inside a kitchen and they're trying for the wall banks trying to get a free blood here but from this you know it is going to be an easy retake or an easy hold out of minnesota they get that trade and then sell and slash your lineup for afro here and it's just a, a clean round win out of minnesota all right huge round 10 here it's a do or die for phase. They stick with their default 2-2. On the Minnesota side, it's a more of a mid slash B-sided break off. Um, same thing, guy watching Ivy. They're gonna have a guy watching his dubs who will eventually go to Beacon with number one and number four playing B-side. Uh, but the thing here that I, I didn't really necessarily like out of, out of Minnesota, they don't see or like hear anything B-side or get any stuns or tacks off uh, or any, any hit markers. And they kind of just back off from it. So they. They don't see anyone cross A still, but they, they still back off from this and they kind of thin themselves out a little bit too much uh, for FaZe's liking because, you know, they, they have number three wrap back. They have number one play this, you know, pool-sided heady where you can watch dub or, or anyone beacon. Number two is watching beacon now. So they don't have anyone watching this A cross anymore. Abizi's able to get this space and, and because they're so thinned out and they're not watching that cross anymore, BZ takes this space and it's a huge you know, spacing for him to get because from this he can play any sort of credit if, if he can you know, get inside of this corner or get inside the corner here in EP6 or he can even like go low haul. They don't know what he's doing or he can even stay the stairs or you know, stay at this angle, watch, watch you know, the bar cross. It's, it's a really hard position to retake for Minnesota because you know, he could be at any spot in this and just be playing a credit. Um, from this, they're trying to activate here on the B side, but you know, Simp captures this because he's still playing this late. You know, Afro thought he would have a timing and he wouldn't be still watching it, but for him, or for Simp, it's just a really good play. He's still holding that. And here's just a really nice outplay out of Simp on, onto Bance. He, he sees this guy, he's snaking him. He gets thrown attack at and dives across two rugs. Bance obviously thinks he's going beacon. He chases him, but he doubles back and Simp gets the kill huge two piece out of simp now it's a 4v2 and you know phase can do whatever they want at this point they they have the, they're choosing b side a side and from this they just win the round all right th so we go to a round 11 and it's a really really funny round it's a huge gamble stack out of phase everyone a side and it's a huge uh, b stack out of minnesota with the bomb middle so it's it's a really funny round because it's just you know two teams gambling on either side of the, of the map and from this you know, FaZe doesn't see anyone A, so they know like, oh no, we have to cover our bases, we have to wrap back a little bit. So they know no one's A side, but Simp makes a huge play here because he's gonna try and just take any sort of A sided space uh, on this map. Minnesota on the other hand, doesn't see anything mid. From my experience, I would just love to bang out B here. You know, it worked in the other round, you're able to get the bomb down and the, the hold there. So from this, they're just trying to figure out what they wanna do. They see or ban sees number seven cross, uh, so he's like, "Oh, they're they're rotating back. Let's try and you know fully push back towards a rewrap." Um, so that's what they do. They they try and rewrap this. 
but you know what do you know simp is just playing a really nice spot he actually does up get, end up getting seen and afro shoots him uh but he doesn't get the kill and that's that's a huge missed opportunity for minnesota if they were able to get that kill it would have been so much easier uh but from this they're gonna have number one playing any late rotators and number four and number three gonna try and retake this p4 side because you know at the beginning of the round they didn't have anyone a side so they didn't have any map pressure there so they're gonna have to basically retake that site fully um and cell is still playing top bed from this they're gonna try and reroute back to b with uh, number four staying a side but simp is still in this p4 position and he's able to get this kill on bents bants a, a huge kill uh for simp a huge first blood and from this you know they realize that they can take some timing so a bz um, got the info obviously that they were rotating back towards a so he's gonna try and make a play here through the diner side and it's a huge kill for him here he gets up trading out but you know getting one is, is just as big for him uh, and now they see all these guys are rotating towards B so slasher is going to play onto this uh, kitchen spot because he's gonna see his timing he, he can probably try and get one and maybe get traded out but regardless it doesn't matter they end up getting the kill 2v2 now minnesota is going to be able to get that free plant onto the site and from this it's just who can play this <laughs> this retake better and you know fame I, I don't know i don't know about this spot from to me i would like him to just you know snake the this middle area try and see any info that he can get and then maybe try and dip out or, or play with his teammate from there he just gets caught out in this you know cruddy type of spot uh from cell you know getting the angle on him and then cami here he's left in a 1v2 he has deddy and you know he just sees the glass here and he doesn't obviously want to make noise you know punching out the glass but i guarantee you if the glass is already broken he takes this timing and hits through tries to get a kill through the side door but unfortunately for him the glass is not open he doesn't want to make noise and for him he just has to gamble on trying to get a kill here um, through kitchen and it just doesn't happen